My name is Larry Jameson and I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to Video Station. Our business is film and video transfer with the emphasis on archive material. In fact, we are one of the very few companies in the world that is able to transfer home movies for broadcast use, as well as your own personal archives. Many clients come to see me with bags of old films, rather like these, and they have no idea as to what they contain or if in fact they can be transferred. In this short video we hope to give you an insight as to what films you may have and the different processes available. So select what you want to see and sit back and enjoy the video. This old clip shows our studio in 1983 transferring some 35mm film. But our speciality is being able to transfer home movie formats. Since the late 1920s, when this early clip of 9.5mm film was shot, people started recording their family history on film. This restored 16mm clip is from 1931. However, it is the late 1950s and 60s that are best remembered as the golden age of home movies. Shot in vibrant colour at a time when most feature films were made in black and white, they depict a living image that perfectly records those magic moments. For most people, showing film on the old film projector is no longer an option. So a transfer to DVD is a necessity. The most popular formats for home movies were Standard 8 and Super 8. Standard 8 normally had these little grey reels and Super 8 little black reels. Standard 8, or regular 8 as it is known in some countries, was the most popular gauge of film formats for home movies. It was available from the late 30s until the mid 60s when it was replaced by Super 8. You can see from this example the difference between the two formats. The film on the left is Standard 8 and on the right Super 8. As you can see the Super 8 film has smaller sprockets but a larger frame area is presented in order to produce better resolution. So looking at these standard 8mm images it would be quite easy to mistake them for Super 8 or even 16mm film. So we will zoom the picture out in order to show you the telltale sprocket holes. And as you can see this is clearly standard 8. What you are looking at is a professional film transfer machine or telecine. These machines were originally designed for the transfer of 35 and 16mm film. However, what makes this machine unusual is a unique multi-format gate. Made in the UK by Video Engineering, it is called a V3Q. It enables this machine to also transfer Standard 8, Super 8 and even old 9.5mm film. Because the machine transports the film in a continuous motion and does not use a driving sprocket or claw, even the most fragile archive film can be transferred with confidence. This 8mm home movie footage is the only known colour film of the 1947 fire at Ballantyne's department store in Christchurch. It remains New Zealand's worst fire in which 41 people lost their lives. We transferred this film in 2010 and copies were deposited with the National Film Archives and Fire Brigade. This archive film has enabled experts to analyse the images for future fire protection study. The 16mm film you are looking at is both shrunk, warped and has damaged sprockets. But as you can see, the transfer we have produced is still extremely good. However, we would like to make it perfectly clear that we can only restore the images and not the original celluloid material. 
This old clip of Standard 8 has severe sprocket damage. You can actually see where the claw has been striking the film. This is a section of that footage. The same applies to this old clip of 9.5mm film. The projector claw damage is visible, yet we are still able to provide a viewable image. Our last clip of this vintage format was shot in 1928. It had been stored in these little canisters for over 70 years. When the time came to prepare them for telecine, the old film resembled a coiled spring. Video Station provides a choice of professional equipment and technical expertise. Our clients include many famous personalities, together with museums, film archives and of course the general public. Make sure your films are in good hands and give us a call now.